Hi, my name is Tristan McLaughlin. Hi, my name is Sadie Montgomery. Hi, I'm Will McInerney. And today we will be presenting the market plan for a protein bar and kitchen. So to start off, just a brief overview and summary of what protein bar and kitchen is. So they're a Chicago-based health food restaurant that sells salads, bowls, wraps, protein shakes, all customizable to all dietary needs. Um, they have 19 locations in three different states, including Illinois, Washington, and Colorado. And within all these locations, they have a four-star rating or higher, which is great. Uh, last year, the total revenue was $9.2 million, which is amazing, but we want to see that grow within the next five years. Finally, the reason why we really chose Protein Bar & Kitchen is their motto. Their motto of fast fuel, not fast food. So when you walk into a restaurant, it's very open, very energetic, very bright, and welcoming. So we want uh, customers to see that um, and come in and enjoy some health food options. The next thing we're going to talk about is our market plan goals, and the first one is to increase revenue. So we want to do this by 50% in the next five years, and that would average out to about five million. Next, we want to gain company awareness, and by doing this, we're just getting our brand name out there so people are more aware of us or and the company. We also want to tap into the target market and. Our specific target market for Protein Bar Kitchen would be individuals between the ages of 20 and 30 who have a higher income and prefer a healthy lifestyle and diet. Uh, the last thing we want to do is expand to new locations. So most of the locations are in the Chicagoland area right now with a few in Washington and Colorado, but we hope to expand to different cities such as Minneapolis, Seattle, and Pittsburgh. So with this, some key objectives we went about within our plan. Um, first, we wanted to do a, cha a change of name, logo, and slogan. So the current uh, logo you know, has their little um, flower thing, and their name is Protein Bar and Kitchen. But like I said before, uh, their slogan, Fast Fuel, we really want that to be broadcasted within their logo. So that way customers can see, hey, this is fast and easy food that's going to be healthy for me. Um, like Sadie said, we want to introduce three new locations. Um, we're centrally located within Illinois, and we want to expand outwards um, to tap into new target markets uh, within different locations. Um, next, we want to develop and integrate vending machines like Farmer's Fridge um, with Protein Bar and Kitchen. Uh, foods in them so that way again it's fast and easy fast fuel on the go uh, finally we want to do product introduction within retail stores so this really adds another product that people can access easily uh, within different kinds of stores other than physical restaurant locations so the execution of these objectives is first we are going to hire a graphic designer just because like Tristan said the logo it's plain it's basic we want something that's a little bit more refreshing and eye-catching, similar to Protein Bar and Kitchen. And we want it to be a logo that can really be affiliated with Protein Bar and Kitchen that kind of shows what our product really is. Secondly, we want to expand outside of the Midwest to Seattle, Pittsburgh, and Minneapolis. So with the first location, Seattle, Seattle is a great location. They have a population of 700,000 people. Um, it's an up and developing uh, city and very booming with tourism. So the actual people that do live there though are uh, on average 35 years old with an average income of $111,000. So this is our perfect target market that we want to reach and we think Seattle would be a great location to enter a new physical store location uh, where customers can come in and eat and enjoy our food. So the next place that we're thinking of expanding to is Pittsburgh and we chose Pittsburgh because they do have a very solid economy and that would be the perfect environment for Protein Bar and Kitchen to expand to. Another thing about Pittsburgh is it is very healthy because the people there go on walks and there's a lot of walkability and biking and opportunities for people to do that and remain healthy and live a healthy lifestyle, which is the target audience of Protein Bar and Kitchen. And third is uh, Minneapolis. So when we were looking at the city of Minneapolis, we saw the Mall of America, which is obviously very popular. But around the Mall of America is 15 gym locations, which is perfect for our target market. And we, we really think we could uh, reach those gym goers. 
Uh, third, we want to start a vending machine trend. So similar to Farmer's Fridge, we really want our products in there. Uh, so we were thinking of protein shakes, uh, salads, uh, pre and post workouts, and we really want to put these uh, fridge-like vending machines in the gyms so that when a gym goer is going through his, his day, he can grab a protein shake on the way out, maybe grab a pre-workout on the way in. And lastly, we want to package and sell protein powder. And this is an affordable option, and it really won't cost that much money to implement this new product line for our company. And we want to sell our protein powder in stores like GNC, the Vitamin Shop, and it will just create more brand awareness for people that might not know of our company or of our stores. And then they can see like, oh, Protein Bar and Kitchen, their stores, and it just creates more brand awareness. So to wrap everything up, why should Protein Bar and Kitchen incorporate our market plan within their company? So first off, we have today in age a more health conscious society. So everyone you know, tracks what they eat, how many calories they're intaking, um, and certain ingredients that they want to keep out, certain GMOs, um, and we think that uh, Protein Bar and Kitchen's fast fuel idea is that perfect alternative for healthy Americans to reach that goal and to uh, incorporate our food into their diets. Next, uh, they already have a well-established market within Illinois, and we want to definitely expand that within Seattle, Minneapolis, as well as Pittsburgh. Uh, the reason why we actually chose these is because they're rated uh, within the top 10 of the healthiest cities within the US, all three of those states. So we think that would be a perfect opportunity to expand our already established market elsewhere. Um, next, we want to you know, incorporate all of these investments, you know, uh, new retail products, new vending machines, to really invest within our company uh, or in Protein Bar and Kitchens Company to expand and increase their customer base and uh, recognition. And finally, we want to gain that market and customer base traction with our products. So it is proving successful already, but we think there's definitely room for growth and the goal of growing 50% in the next five years is definitely doable if Protein Bar and Kitchen incorporates all of these ideas within their organization and company, and we think uh, that would help them tremendously. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.